Hey guys, welcome back to Dwarf Rule 16. I am your host, Javon. Right away, I gotta apologize for the audio issues. I'm trying to run this at a really low resolution, and for some reason, the graphics card, the RX 460, is having some issues with the resolution of 960 by 540. So, yeah. But anyway, today we're testing out Starfield once again on my Intel Core i3 10105 with the AMD RX 460 4GB VRAM graphics card. They're running with 32GB of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory. And holy crap, it's simply the fact that you can't play this on 2GB cards. That is legitimately it. I ran this on a 960 just now, and this ran terribly. Like, I was getting like 10 FPS in this exact same spot. Because I have the extra 2 gigs of VRAM, it's going all the way up to 27 FPS. I am blown away by that. Now, keep in mind, like I said, I did drop my resolution in 960 by 540. I don't know if it's actually rendering out that or not. I'll test that out afterwards and we'll see. But yeah, this is supposed to be 960 by 540 at the lowest preset using FSR 2. And we're going to go and see what happens. Yeah, so... Once again, the audio seems to be messed up because of it, because of the screening, but I don't want to take the chance and drop it down to 720p because I was very confused about this running at 720p, but it seems it's legitimately that. You cannot run this with less than 4 gigs of VRAM is what this is telling me because the 960 ran so poorly, even though the 960 is so much faster than this card. But this card, this is actually, this is actually kind of playable. What do you think, citizen? I think the citizen agrees with me. It's, it's playable. I, I don't know who would, would try to put themselves to this, you know, put themselves through this pain, but it works. We're getting over 20 FPS on average, which is nice. All things considered, man. This stuff be crazy. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. You know me, I like to test games on low-end hardware to show you guys that what it can do and what it can't do. Maybe it can run, maybe it can't. Who the heck knows? I know it's running somewhat decently. And I say decently of loose terms, obviously. We're getting 20 FPS, come on guys. I wouldn't recommend it and there's no ups there's no bringing back at the settings this is the low like i said i don't know if i'm running at 960 by 540 or 720p honestly if i'm running at 960 by 540 you can look in the description i'll actually let you guys know if the 720p performance was different so i'll just say 720p or 960 by 540 in the description so just just check out that description if you're really curious if you have a 460 and you would like to know or anything of this nature somewhere around this level. I mean, this is pretty low end for GPU. I, 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 I thought the 960 would be the lowest, but 2 gig just isn't. If I had the 4 gig model, maybe. I don't. So, there's that. But it seems this is playable. This is somewhat playable on the 460. Now, the game just stuttered there. Like, it froze. I, I am running on a hard drive as well. It could be because of that. Or it could be because of the game. It could be a lot of things, okay? At this point, it could be a lot of damn things with Starfield. Whoa, things are still shooting at me. This crap gets really demanding in this, this city area, which is why I keep choosing it. There's a lot going on in this city, man. A lot of people, a lot of stuff going on. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, you're an enemy. You know, this is the first time I'm actually fighting an enemy robot. I kind of just skip past you most of the time. It is playable though, and like I said, this is worst case scenario. In most areas, you can get over 30, that, what this tells me is I can get over 30 FPS if I'm just exploring and stuff. Because this is worst case scenario, this place is really demanding. Like, absurdly, de like my 970 was hitting 60 FPS at certain points in this game, dude, when I was playing it. It's absurdly demanding. <laughs> so the fact that this can even do this is amazing. But yeah, I'm just going to mute myself. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you guys like seeing me test blowing content on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out here, guys. I test a lot of wide variety of hardware, low-end hardware. And sometimes I get a, a few, you know, higher-end stuff. But for the most part, it's quite low-end here. And integrated graphics. 
and it can get really bad. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Sorry for this no sound again.